I lost my right hand as a result of a work injury accident. I knew, I pretty much knew my hand was gonna be gone. I just didn't wanna lose my whole arm. I think I was in the hospital for 11, 12 days. Had lots of visitors and um, lots of referrals to St. Mary's Free Bed. Once, you know, they were talking about starting rehab. It needs to be a nice intimate fit and all of the suspension is from her anatomy. It's not from a harness, it's not from anything else, so it needs to be that like tight, loose fit. So she needs to be able to get it on, but it needs to be snug enough that it's gonna stay on. That's some weight, huh? Yes, it does. So we, we do the test socket so that we can make these changes. So, because I want the best fit up here, we want the best fit down here. She's probably gonna change a little bit with the tightness of the socket. Um, and then the, the most important part is where these electrodes are. So she's been working with Ashley on finding the best site. Um, but like I was just saying, once the socket's on, that changes where the muscles are and then putting the weight on it changes where everything is. So we may have to kind of play with where that electrode is. Due to the nature of my job, Katie kind of said, okay, we need to go ahead with the myoelectric one. Um, so, you know, I know you'll probably do a lot better and it will be easy on your shoulder. She has just been amazing and she knows when it gets a little overwhelming for me and all that stuff, she backs off and then, you know, comes back to it. These signals are really, really small. There's basically no signals. So it's just showing that she's able to relax her muscles completely. Physical therapy, just amazing. You know, they're trying so hard to get you to be independent, which is a big part of it. You know, you feel so lost. She had a lot of shoulder tightness, um, started to get what we call a frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis. So we've been working on her shoulder for quite some time and she eventually got a couple of different opinions about the shoulder and had surgery um, where the doctor went in and did a shoulder manipulation and cleaned out a lot of scar tissue. It's a lot better. She's not grimacing at me as much. <laughs> Working it, making it work like a hand. I said, my biggest thing that I want to do with it the first time is hold a pen and write with it. Yes, because I was a right, you know, right-handed, and that's what I miss. I miss my penmanship. Right now, we're still working on, we're good at where I can get in, and it fits. It is the taking off that we're still working on. Not just um, learning how to use the, the hand, it's also making my arms stronger and working the muscles so I can hold up the socket and you know, wear it and everything. So anybody that I have come in touch with here, personally or just walking by, not knowing a person, they're just friendly and they work and they help you, you know, and I can't say enough. I mean, they're just angels, you know.